Okay, let's say you want to find out about some trainings financed by European Union Youth in Action. How should you do that? Uh, first, I gave you some links which you should open just to have an idea. So, um, if you just want to have a quick look, have a look at these links, you can stop this video. There's not much more than this. This is like 80% of what I'm going to say below. So, if you're interested in how to get to 80% to 100%, read more. But this, with these, these links only, you should get the vast majority of value from my article. This is the European uh, tra training calendar you see in here. And uh, you can click on Browse and you will see some uh, trainings uh, at which you can go. Um, as a remark, you should apply generally to, so, you you should be eligible in here. But you could still send an email to the organizer and ask, okay, perhaps you don't have enough uh, participants and you would be interested. So, you could uh, take a, take your chance and risk and uh, and see if they have uh, room for, for other participants, but generally it's this is uh, quite strict. But at times th there are some openings and you could try even if you're from a different country to apply for uh, this uh, for a program for which you aren't eligible and uh, the admission criteria is uh, is generally you have to follow some rules so you have to um, okay let's open this Th there are some criteria to which you could uh, you should uh, follow so this and this and this they're not very entirely strict, but generally you should follow the profile, so, okay. I would encourage you to, if you f find no program, just email the organizer and ask, okay, can I still participate even if I don't uh, uh, match this condition and see what, they, what they're saying. At times they, they can be flexible, but not all the time, so you could try. Okay. Uh, this is VVS, so the previous link was for uh, uh, going to a conference. You go to a training, I will detail th these links at the end. I will detail how, how, how it was for me. But uh, in here is it's a training. You go and uh, there are other participants and some interaction, one week. This is a different thing. This is EVS, European Volunteering Service. You become volunteer for uh, quite a period of time. I'm not so sure, but I think it was six months minimum and uh, one or two years maximum, something like that. You should find out. I will write in the article. I will find out and write in the article. So these are some databases for which you can apply. But you can find the other organization even if they are not on the website. But there are more uh, bureaucratic procedures to do if they're not in here already. And these are the Facebook, Facebook pages. Okay, I wrote an article how to visit a new country, and I wrote my reasoning for uh, why sh why are European uh, conferences and the EVS why are better than other type of uh, events. And if you want to read it, uh, it's, it's just on the motivation. Okay, to find out about other trainings uh, other than the list above, okay, you could go and just search like this. And you will get general links. So, for example, by going googling this, you will find out Salto Youth and Eurodesk. And you should go from link to link and see if there are other opportunities. Okay, then you could uh, add your country because th by doing this, you will find specific uh, things. And uh, I found out about Tinerit in Action, Youth in Action. Um, and I googled it, Project Tinet in Azione, and by doing this I found out a list of events in Romania. I didn't know about this list. It's a big list, so you find out, you, you can apply to programs like this. Okay, there, are, there is another program called Eurodesk, and um, they have a Yahoo group and a Facebook page, and then the Yahoo group you find out about uh, new things. You subscribe, you receive them by email, so it's quite convenient. There is, there is another uh, opportunity to find out what project. Okay, these are only in Romania, except for some of them. <laughs> um, so this article is in Romanian, uh, and it shows what uh, it gives my reasoning for uh, participate to participating to certain uh, events. I already told you about this. 
this is my feedback about going to Ireland uh, to a training and this is in Romanian it's about Turkey but it has photos and the video and uh, this is how it was in Germany for me and in Serbia okay as a conclusion there are quite a few opportunities you can find mostly on these websites Salto and DVS but uh, you could find some new opportunities for your country depending on where you live. Okay, uh, I really like the programs I took part to. I, I didn't go to AVS, I know some people who did, but uh, the trainings were very nice and the people who went to AVS gave me positive feedback. I didn't know anyone who, oh, I'm so upset. No, pretty much everyone enjoyed it. So, have a look on this because it, it can be quite a nice experience. I think you can even go to countries which are not in Europe and it's quite nice to discover a country and to find out about new cultures and to improve your language skills. Quite nice. Good luck.